Uh, this is a really important topic, right? How do you overcome fear as a network marketer to create more results? And you may even be watching this video just out of curiosity, maybe you're a subscriber or it just took your interest. And you may think to yourself, well, I don't really suffer from fear. Maybe when I give you these examples, you realize that you do, which is good because it means there's a lot of room for growth. Or maybe you're crippled by fear and you're like, man, I need some real help in this subject. Fantastic. I got some helpful tips for you that will help you in this very video to get better network marketing results. So let, let's just dive in. I, I don't like to beat around the bush. Let's just get straight at it. So what I would say first and foremost is, I always say at the end of my videos, uh, my content have more desires and excuses. A great way to encourage yourself to take action is to write down and remind yourself of your desires, your goals. You know, the reason why you're building your business, right? So for me, when I first started, you know, I wanted to solve 50 grand worth of debt. I wanted to be able to take my daughter, my wife to Disney. So what I did was I created a little chart that would allow me to monitor and the family to monitor my progress to be able to overcome, I need to eat my stomach's rumbling to overcome and, and my challenges, my fear, and reach those goals. So it's very difficult to give in to your fear if on the wall of your office or in the wall of your front room is a little chart that says, you know, Matharu's going to Disney, and there's a little increments of me saving up the money there and taking the commissions from my network marketing business. Daughter's asking me, wife's asking me, I'm like, man, I gotta get to work. So if you feel that your fear is mixed in with a little procrastination, that's a great way of like overtly, outwardly, motivating yourself to remove that fear and remind yourself of the desires every single day. A vision board can work the same way. I just don't find it quite as specific, but I'd like to have one of those as well. You know, certain pictures of goals that you want to achieve this year, let, let your eyes kind of lap that up and soak it in, visualize yourself living that way. It can help you to overcome those fears. Now you may say, Richard, I try that stuff. It's very difficult for me to still take action. So what I believe is that we are what we do not what we think. So you may say, Richard, I'm always fearful. Yeah, but what do you actually do? I've, I feel the, the body follows the mind and the mind also follows the body. Let me give you an example of that. So if you smile and laugh right now, if you just like laugh on the camera, in front of the camera, as long as no one thinks you're crazy who's around you, you instantly feel a little bit happier, just a little bit, right? You smile, you laugh, like even me just doing this as an example, I know why I'm teaching you this, but I feel a little bit more energetic now. Why? Because my brain knows that when my body makes that facial expression and makes that sound of laughter, I should be happy. I'm usually happy. So it gives me a little bit of those hormones, makes me feel that way. So start to think about the brave actions that you could take that would then cause your brain to catch up a little bit. If you're always in your head and you're like, I can't get over this fear, do something with your body. I saw some great examples of this where you can break it down into segments. So for example, um, I like to go I like to go running a few times a week, right? I'm not fast or anything. I just do it for the health benefits. But some days we don't always feel like it. Now I don't always think, oh, I'm gonna go for a run. That's a lot of steps to make that happen. But what I can do is I can lay out my gym clothes, my running clothes, the night before. So when I get up to take my daughter to school, I put those clothes on. So if I lay out the, like I wear like these, like, uh, like tracksuit bombs, t-shirt, that kind of thing, so I can get away with taking my daughter to school in it, right? I've not got some crazy shorts or vest or whatever, right? So I, I get these clothes, I pick the clothes, if I put them on, now I feel a bit of an idiot if I come home and sit and work in my, in my running clothes and I haven't been for a run. It may just be getting your trainers out so you kick them over. It may just be, you know what, I'll walk to the end of the street and I'll see if I feel like going any further. So instead of saying, I'm gonna go for a five mile run three times a week, and all that seems so far away right now, if you just say, I'll get my trainers on, or I'm gonna put, put the clothes up the night before so I have to wear them, because it's easier, you, know, you may lock your covers up and just leave the gym clothes out, right? That goal becomes much easier to achieve, because what happens is with that initial instant action, you now cause your body, the action, to make your mind be a little bit more motivated. And what happens is if you're at the end of the street, you're like, I'm just gonna keep on going. Maybe I'll go to the next street. Maybe I'll go to the end of the block. Maybe I'll go to the other side of the village. Okay, now I'll come back, right? And, and you'll find that that consistency starts to embed itself in you 
because you're getting used to doing it more and more and more. It's just overcoming that initial hurdle. So I, I think that's a great way of overcoming your fear. Reminding yourselves of your desires, reminding yourself of your cost of not taking action. What are you and your family going to miss out on? And then using your body instead of your mind to encourage yourself to overcome that internal resistance. A lot of people don't talk about this. They all talk about mindset, meditation. Those things are great. I use them all. But I found this to be a very practical, simple, I wouldn't say easy, but easier way of getting some kind of action and then getting your mindset to catch up with you so that you can be braver. Think of what those brave actions are. What would be the brave first step leading towards that action? And your mind hopefully will begin to follow. So as always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. If you're a subscriber, I'll catch you on the next one. And if you want more useful ideas from me, I can sit down with you for a couple of hours on a web class happening this week at authoritynetworker.com forward slash YouTube. You go to that link, you'll see some more information about the specific topics. But I feel if, it's, if you're a network marketer, you'll really gain from that training. Uh, you can grab a free place if there's some left if that link is live. I'll stick it in the text area or the comments somewhere like that. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. If you're subscribed, like I just said, have a fantastic day and uh, hopefully this tip was useful. I hope you use it well. I hope it increases your bravery. I hope it removes a little bit of your fear. And who knows, if this allows you to take one step in towards bravery to becoming a better network marketer, to get better results, you can start to apply it in different areas of your life for your fitness, for your relationships, for your prospecting, for many other areas who knows where this could lead you. I hope it leaves you somewhere really, really great. Bye for now.